Hello everyone, this is a quick demonstration of how to use Process Manager to manage documents. As you can see here in the Documents section of Process Manager, staff have access to uh, links to view all of the documents that are either in status or um, in the status of in review or drafted or uh, completed as well. So I'm going to take you through how, this, how your supervisors uh, will uh, execute the process of adding a new document, ensuring that all the information is added, and accepting the correct approvals, uh, and then I'll take you through how the process and the forms were set up. So, to add a new document, uh, your staff simply go to New Process, and they go to Documents, and then Document Version Control to launch that process. They can add the document um, name, so let's say this is Capper uh, Machine Training and this is a standard operating procedure for training and it really just applies to production. So this is the summary information that will be used to uh, find the document later. You can see the summary information is here. So I'll add this document. I'll select the status of draft and uh, add the document, the capper machine training that's required and the document ID. So now I will save that and the system knows that the required fields for that task have been completed uh, so I can go ahead and mark this task as done. Now a quality manager will uh, be alerted in their action uh, required that the uh, process uh, that has been initiated requires their attention and the task, the specific task that requires their attention is add or update document information. So they can go uh, into uh, the form, uh, change the status if they wish, add comments and so forth. Uh, they'll review the information, they can review the document as well, and add additional information. So let's say the version of this document is 1, and the document author is me. I can also add some keywords, uh, competency, skills, training. This will help uh, staff look up the documents in the document section. And an expiry date as well, so let's say that this expires in a year. Go ahead and save that, and this task can be marked as done. So now the document management uh, approver, the document manager, will be alerted that there is a new document that's up uploaded uh, that requires their approval. So they can come into the process and let's say they need to download this document and make changes. Simply download the document and load it within Word. Uh, make some updates. Save it as a new version. And then delete this document and upload the new, ver uh, the new document, version 2. And they may change the information here to version 2 and then sign. Now you'll notice that it requires re-authentication and record signature. You may also want to add a comment here to say updated document uh, per uh, meeting. Just to advise everyone as to why they updated the document. Now they'll set this to in review and save the form. Now the system knows that that task has been completed and the engineering manager is up uh, to review. Uh, they can also uh, download the document. Uh, perhaps they also want to make a change, so they can download this document, open in Word, make an additional change, save as version 3,
remove this document, and then upload the new document. Uh, now they can make a comment. Updated document again because dot dot dot. The reason why is we'll add a new update as well and then add their signature. And the engineering manager's approval will now lock all of the fields again. And also, And also change the document management approval signature to in progress. So document management needs to go back in and approve. So let's say document management approves. and the plant manager approves. Now the CEO is alerted to uh, that a document is waiting their approval. CEO will come in, they can change the status to approved and then identify themselves. We'll use a different um, user here, John Smith. And you'll notice that they are also locking the approved status as well. So now the approved status is locked. Now that this document is 100% completed, an administrator can come in here and close the process, which can be reopened at any time when this document is, uh, is in need of updating. Now live process does not include that document uh, requirement. Now, if we go back to our document section, we can see the document that we just um, uploaded and added to the system. The status is approved. Um, the document uh, type is standard operating procedure and all of the um, information about the document is here. So how did this document uh, get added? Well, the first step is um, creating a form report so I'm going to take you to the form report, the con document control report here, um, which uh, basically you have full control over adding uh, fields to this, uh, this form. So what we've added here is a status, the document, the document type, the departments affected, uh, document title, ID, um, and so forth, including the document signatures, the document management signatures. And you can see here with the signature fields, we can either have the person um, approve the all of the fields within the form or specified, only specified fields. And we'd recommend having uh, everyone except for the CEO approve the status of the document uh, because the last step is to uh, close or confirm that that document is live, which the last person to approve will do. Uh, and set that status to live and then approve that change as well. Um, so you can add all sorts of forms to this and then uh, you'll build the process. Um, you can first create a category, so documents is the category, and then our procedure is named document version control. <clears throat> we set up a process summary that collects the document name, document type, and departments affected, and then set up the first step as add or edit document and the task for the first uh, task is to add or update the document, uh, which uh, uses the document control report <coughs> and asks for these, this information. In our uh, process, we had adding uh, document information as being a second step that quality would, would add. And then all of the approvals. So document managers, 
document management would update this existing uh, submission to so update the document control report that's been used for these tasks uh, and document manage the document manager role uh, would uh, do this and their responsibilities to, to sign that specific signature and then move along to the other um, the other approvals that are required just by adding new tasks and selecting the signature that they need to add. So this has been a brief overview of how to use Process Manager to manage your documents in a FDA or otherwise uh, compliant uh, document uh, system. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to get in touch with Weaver Apps and we can take you through uh, the process or give you a complete demo. Thanks and have a great day.